and today's topic is metabolic derangements seen in chronic renal failure metabolic derangements seen in chronic renal failure patients it's so very important points regarding the electrolytes is really very important okay whether it's hypokalemia hypercalcemia hypokalemia or hyperkalemia all these are really very important okay try to concentrate i'm going to list the what you call or metabolic derangements seen in patients with chronic renal failure so the most important is metabolic acidosis okay then we have azotemia well Azotemia is nothing but increased levels of BUN and the creatinine, right? That's a basic thing in the CRF, you see. Then we see hyperkalemia. Okay. Then we see edema, there's a fluid retention. Then we see hypocalcemia. Why hypocalcemia? Because of the increase or decrease, sorry, impaired what you call a vitamin D production, vitamin D production. Hyperphosphatemia. Okay. Then anemia. Why anemia? Anemia because of loss of erythropoietin, lack of erythropoietin. Kidney is not at all producing erythropoietin. Okay. Then we have mental status changes. Confusion, convulsions, seizures, coma. Okay. Bleeding. due to disordered platelet functions okay pericarditis uremic pericarditis very important uremic pericarditis anorexia nausea vomiting okay skin pigmentation skin pigmentation okay itching pruritus susceptible to infection okay guys so these are the important points for uh, what you call um, metabolic derangement seen in uh, patients with CRF metabolic acidosis, azotemia, hyperkalemia, fluid retention, hypokalemia, hyperphosphatemia. Try to concentrate on hypokalemia, hypokalemia, hyperphosphatemia and hyperkalemia. Okay, rest you can remember they are very simple. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video.